I'm sorry, Miss Bagoli, I can't go on. There's something I have to say. Well, quickly, Lola, quickly. I have a confession to make. I borrowed Eliza's dress for the weekend. I I'm really sorry, but I felt I had no other choice. No choice? Why? I, I had to wear it to the Siddhartha party. When are you going to give it up, Mary? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You couldn't possibly have taken that dress because I keep that dress locked up safe in the drama room. There are ways, Miss Bagoli. There are ways. Where is it now? It's right back. It's safe and sound. It looks exactly the same, but somehow different. Can you believe her? I mean, first she takes the dress, then she puts it back, and then she goes to this party where no one saw her. It's true. The dress got all wet, and Stu Wolf made me change it to something dry. He said it was important that I felt comfortable. Because on the night of his farewell concert, Stu Wolf had nothing better to do than see Mary step dry. Girls, please! <laughs> and he sent it back to my dad in a limousine as big as the stage. A dress in a limousine? Can you picture it? <laughs> yeah, he's also a big fan of my dad and my dad's dog. And then your dog gave him his autograph, right? <laughs> but I did take the dress. <laughs> see, Stu Wolf gave me this himself. It's his roadie t-shirt from his tour. Where else would I have gotten it? In a junk store where you get everything else. But this is the tissue I use to wipe his tears. <laughs> Maybe we should send it off for DNA testing. I also left my bottle cap necklace at his house. He told my dad he's going to FedEx it back. A dress riding in the limousine. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing because otherwise it would have had to get to Gab. <laughs> You're funny, Lola. You could be a comedian. But can we please go back to work now? We have so much to do before Wednesday. Wednesday night. Uh, you believe me, don't you? I mean, Carla's the one who's lying. We've worked so hard for this production, Lola, and I... I am not gonna let you ruin it for me. <laughs> we have all had enough. Have you? Have you finally had enough? 